Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall, and in today's ServiceNow tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a business rule in the system. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly explain what a business rule is. A business rule is a server-side script that is run when a record is inserted, updated, queried, or deleted. Business rules also have conditions for when they should be run. That way, they are only triggered when required. This provides system administrators with greater control within the platform. Business rules are typically used for scenarios such as changing field values on a form when updating a record, displaying information messages to users, preventing users from saving records when conditions on a form aren't met, and much more. These are just common use cases for business rules. In today's demo, we're going to create a business rule on the hardware asset table that automatically updates the expenditure type of an asset to OPEX when an asset is created or updated with the acquisition method of lease. That way, when asset managers create leased assets, their expenditure type is always set to OPEX. This will help the finance and accounting team when running reports on the expenditure types of assets. Since leased assets are always an operational expense, creating this business rule will greatly help enrich our asset data automatically. To get started, let's open up ServiceNow. In the Application Navigator, type in Hardware Assets and click on the Hardware Assets module. Click onto any record to open it up. Now that the Hardware Asset form has loaded, right-click on the form header and click on Configure – Business Rules. Click on the new button to create a new business rule. A blank business rule form will now load. In the first field name, we're going to type in automatically set the expenditure type. Then in the when to run section below, I'm going to select insert and update. This will ensure that the business rule is only run when a hardware asset record is inserted or updated. Next in the Conditions section, we're going to select the Acquisition Method field, then select the Is operator, and then the value of Lease. Now in the Actions section of the form, on the Set Field Values area, I'm going to select the Expenditure Type field with the operator of 2, and then the value of OPEX. Now that we've created this business rule, click on the Submit button. The business rule is now saved and ready to use. Now if we navigate to a hardware asset record, set the acquisition method to lease, and right click on the form header and click save, you can see that the expenditure type is automatically set to OPEX. And it's as simple as that. Creating a business rule in ServiceNow is a fairly simple task and provides you with great control over the actions that are performed when updating, creating, querying, or deleting records. If you like this video, feel free to click on the like button, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe.